Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I am delighted to be joined by Gitanjali Saar, who is the WISIS coordinator at the ITU. So Gitanjali, a lot of work, I imagine, to build the agenda for the WISIS forum. Thank you, Claire. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, yes, the beauty of the WISIS Forum is that the uh, agenda and the program are built in a true multi-stakeholder format. So civil society, private sector, academia, uh, technical community, governments, UN agencies, we all work together as one uh, to build the program and, the f and uh, we also get suggestions on the format of the WISIS Forum every year. So this year we received more than 150 uh, suggestions on uh, the thematic aspects and the format of the WISIS Forum, which we uh, included and then uh, the result was this content-rich agenda that uh, you saw this week. And indeed, it ranged from bridging the digital divide to cyber security to helping agricultural workers use e-services. It was so broad. Yes, it is. In fact, because um, uh, the WISIS covers the 18 WISIS action lines and uh, they cover the whole range of uh, different ICT applications, services, ICT infrastructure, cyber security and the whole range of ICT um, uh, applications within its framework. Um, uh, also this year, the highlight was to link the WISIS action lines and the WISIS framework uh, to the sustainable development goals. This linkage is extremely important and crucial for the entire WISIS community and uh, the WISIS forum was the starting point. It's a real opportunity, isn't it, for the uh, ICT for development community to show that information communication technologies can really be enablers for development and help the world achieve these sustainable development goals. Yes, this was the overarching theme of the WISIS Forum uh, 2016, uh, this being in fact uh, unique and special because it was the first after the United Nations General Assembly uh, overall review uh, and the adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals. So uh, this was the key, key theme and uh, you will also notice in the outcomes uh, which will be uh, already online on the website uh, today. Uh, how each session actually shows a clear linkage between the WISIS action lines and the sustainable development goals. And what is really quite unique about WISIS is that there's high policy frameworks, but also there's lots of grassroots initiatives which are showcasing best practice and some of the success stories about what works. Uh, yes, uh, we in fact award the WISIS Prize every year and uh, WISIS Prizes are awarded to multi-stakeholders who have uh, uh, performed well or who are voted as the best project uh, in the different categories and this year we also introduced the concept of uh, champions. Uh, so the five uh, most voted were uh, invited as champions and their work was celebrated during the WISIS Forum. Uh, we also introduced the new form format of high level track facilitators who moderated the policy sessions. So these were nominated by the different uh, stakeholder types. Uh, it worked extremely well and uh, they, they, they uh, basically brought in their views, their experiences and the wide range of, uh, uh, you know, ex uh, of experiences that they have in the past about uh, the ICT ecosystem. As you say, you're continually innovating with the format this year, much more interactive. You have been a WISIS coordinator since 2009. So what really stood out for you for the WISIS 2016? There were a lot of, uh, lot of uh, formats for engagement and uh, reaching out and uh, to the WISIS stakeholders. So one of them, as I said, was moderated uh, policy sessions. We introduced uh, a new format of hackathons. We introduced the WISIS champions. So um, this year, the WISIS forum was all about 
partnerships, collaboration, there was an excitement to network, uh, to build and to brainstorm on uh, the next steps for ensuring that the WISIS action lines play the crucial role they can for uh, achieving the SDGs. Gitanjali Sa, WISIS coordinator at the ITU, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And please do tune in to the ITU YouTube channel where there are many interviews with the participants from the WISIS Forum 2016.